Stage 3 of this year's Giro d'Italia will take the riders 187 kilometres from Armagh in Northern Ireland down to Dublin in the south. An initial excursion northeast will see the peloton navigate through the village of Loch Gaul before skirting around into Rich Hill and then Market Hill. Soon after, the road begins to rise, and 4.5 k's later, at kilometre 32.1, the riders reach the first of the day's two KOM points. The climb to Market Hill summit is steady, cresting at 232 metres above sea level, and with the breakaway likely gone by this point, we should see a fight between them to take maximum points. After a speedy descent down to Kidi, it's not long before they face the toughest test of the day, the second KOM up to Fuse Forest. The hardest part of this climb is the last 2.5 k's, and despite its name, the majority of this section is open and exposed to the wind. The route then leads the riders through Newtown Hamilton, and soon after the race heads directly south, eventually crossing the border into the south at kilometre 79. Dundalk is the first town to greet the Giro entourage in the south. The race passes directly through the centre, which is where we will see the only intermediate sprint of the day at kilometre 84.5. Here there will be 3, 2 and 1 seconds bonus available for the first 3 riders across the line, but with the breakaway likely to sweep these up, don't expect to see too much of a sprint from the bunch. The following long straight road takes the riders towards the sea, and is once again exposed. If the wind is blowing strong, then this part of the course could cause some problems in the peloton. A little while later, at kilometre 97.3, comes the feed zone at Castle Bellingham. The route then goes briefly inland down to Drogheda. They soon head back to the coast though, and at Balbriggan they'll have 50 kilometres to go. It's when they hit the coastal town of Port Marnock with just 17 k's to go that the peloton is sure to start getting nervous. Giant Shimano and Lotto Bellasso will surely be present at the front when they hit the 10 k's to go barrier, with Dublin finally in their sights. With 2.8 k's to go, they will take a right hand turn onto North Wall Quay, where they will ride alongside the River Liffey. It's along this road where the sprinters and their teams will jostle for positioning. With just over a kilometre to go, the riders will do a double left over the river where they will see the red kite signifying 1k to go. A right turn into Lombard Street with 900 metres to go sees another straight, followed by a chicane at 350 to go, before the final surge to the line on Merrion Street Upper. The finish line itself is located outside the Department of Finance. It's sure to be a day for the sprinters, but who do you think you will win? Let us know your comments in the section below this video. To see this year's Giro content, click here, and to subscribe to GCN, click here.